Welcome to another episode of Magnum Videos. I'm wearing some merch today, uh, self-promotion wise. This isn't the new merch, but uh, we'll talk about that in another episode. But anyway, today is about 86 degrees and we're going to talk about sprinkler systems because we need one. So stick around. I'll meet you right out here after this world famous intro. All right, sprinkler systems. Uh, there's a couple of different types. There's a, an in-ground system and there's an above-ground system. Um, I did some checking for installing an in-ground system on this quarter-acre lot. It's about seven to eight thousand dollars. It's about seven to eight thousand dollars. That's more than I want to spend, but. I've been watching some videos from my new best friend on YouTube, Yard Bra, and if you haven't seen his lawn, you need to check it out. It's like picture perfect. It's gorgeous. Anyway, Yard Bra, check it out. So, what, uh, and he's using a system that is, uh, I got, kind of got the idea from him watching his videos. Ryan Knorr also has an above ground system, uh, or he did at his previous house. But anyway, what I'm planning on doing is running some hoses above ground. I will probably be putting them in my landscaping bed so I can cover the hoses up with rock. Uh, so it's not obtrusive. I won't have to be dragging the hoses in and out and moving them around in the yard all the time. Uh, our lot is 75 feet wide. This particular sprinkler right here, it's an Orbit uh, H2O, I think they call it. It's got six different patterns and supposedly it will cover a, an 80 foot diameter. Our lot is 75 feet wide. So if I park one of these right in the middle, it should go from property line to property line as long as we've got enough water pressure and there's not uh, gusty winds going on. So I think from my calculations, I'm going to put one of these in the back, right in the very center. Hopefully it will go from property line to property line, as I said. I'm going to have to have two in the front uh, because we're, our setback from the street is more than what this thing will cover. So I'm going to probably put two in there. So three of these, and uh, I think I bought three hoses uh, to go with the hoses I already have. So I'm like right around $100, $110 for the whole thing, uh, if it'll work. And if it doesn't cover everything, like in the corners, I can put another landscaping bed out there with a tree and some bushes or something and uh, just let it cover what it can and build in other areas there that don't have grass in them to take care of that issue. So anyway, I'm not going to do a review on this particular sprinkler because there's plenty of those around, but I will uh, go ahead and get this one hooked up. I did get a, a, a faucet manifold with four uh, outlets on it. I'm not going to put that on today. I'm just going to hook this one up to the hose I already have out here along with another 15 foot hose I need to add to it. So I'm going to get started on that so I'll meet you out here in the back. I'll just do a I'll just do a, a break here and I'll just meet you out in the back okay I'll be the guy with the hat on okay stay around. Okay it was about an uh, hour and a half, I think, to put that in. I got the, uh, the hose run all the way along the, the landscaping 
bed there right against the foundation and around the patio and back down and across to the edge of the rock landscape. I think that will work and give us the best coverage. I'm getting ready to turn it on. I still have to put another bag of rocks in there to cover up the hose. Uh, oh, and I got some of those little uh, landscaping staples, about I don't know, four inches tall or so and about an uh, inch wide. Those work great for holding the hose down where you want it. So, uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, faucet and see what happens. Now's the moment of truth. So, stick around and I'll show you what happens. All right, there we are. It's going within about three or four feet of the back fence, and it's going almost to the wood fence on the south side. And when it comes back around here, it's getting the hostas watered, it's getting the coxcombs watered, it's getting the arborvita watered, and it's getting uh, almost to the wrought iron fence on the edge. So it's not shooting as far as I hoped, but Miss Rosie has the washer going right now, so I don't know if that has a lot to do with it. Um, I don't know. It might. But anyway, uh, so far, so good. So that's, uh, that's it for this uh, show and tell right here. I'll be back in just a minute with some final thoughts. Please hang up and try again. Well, it's actually doing better than I expected. I just changed some of the six settings on it, and I found that the vert, V-E-R-T, seems to be the... Uh, the most powerful shooting it out the farthest it's hitting the fence over there it's coming uh, to the edge uh, just past the wrought iron fence on this side and it's getting about two feet short of the wire fence in the back so not bad actually and I think uh, as the evening goes on there may be a lot of people running their sprinklers right now I don't know uh, the water pressure may increase and we end up with even more distance. So I think that's it for now. I will work on the, the two in the front possibly tomorrow and uh, we'll see how that goes. Be sure and check out uh, Yard Bra. You're going to love his lawn. It's, it's awesome. So um, I think that's it for now. So until I speak with you again, oh, thank you for liking this video. If you click that little like button, that'll help a lot. Uh, feel free to share it if you'd like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do that as well. So there's a lot more coming. And uh, until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused, just like it says here.